south and let's focus on some stock now. All right, Kev, we are live and in game right now. This uh, this game was played earlier this morning. This is, of course, a replay cast, but Rhett Moss, I think, was played at about 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so very fresh. Uh, Masa has been playing a very macro brand of Terran, and I hope that we see yep. some of that because Rhett is a fantastic macro Zerg. But also with a lot of aggression. Uh, we did go over it already, Ben, or at least you gave your prediction. I thought it was going to be a very close call as well, and this is kind of a tough game for me always to call a winner because, of course, I am teammates with Masa, but Rhett is uh, a really lo a long, a long time friend of me. I met him for the first time at the World Cyber Games 2008 in Germany, and back then I thought, hmm, Who's this weirdo playing this other RTS? Like, what to think of him? Uh, then I had some talks with him. I was like, ah, actually, he seemed like a kind of cool guy, but I still didn't really know him. Uh, we spoke a little bit, but that's it. But of course, ever since StarCraft 2 came around, we met early on in the beta. Actually, I played Red in the tournament, in the very, very first StarCraft 2 tournament ever hosted in Netherlands, man. I uh, was in the beta stages of Wings of Liberty. I went to the winner bracket final, where I run into Red, and then Red beat me 3-0 with lots of Hydralisk. Because back then all I made was Blink Stalkers, like that's the only unit I made. I was so ahead of the meta game, by the way. Back then everybody said they were bad, but I kept using them. But then I kept dying to Hydralisk. And then I said, like, man, these Hydralisks, you just can't kill them. And then Rat said, like, yeah, you should make Colossus. I was like, it's impossible, you can never get up to Colossus, man. Like, you don't have enough time for that. <laughs> Obviously, I was not very good in the game back then. <laughs> beat you with Hydras, and later he would beat you with the Drog. Yes. <laughs> And Red beat me with many things, but uh, ever since then, Red has been a really good friend of me, so it was hard to pick a winner of this series, but I did do think in the end, man, that the experience for Red should be too much to handle, and can you imagine an ESL without Red, man? I can't. I can't ma imagine many tournaments without Red. He is one of the most active tournament players in the scene, one of the most accomplished tournament players in the scene, and a really beloved member of Team Liquid. Now, Masa, uh, a young player. He's, what, 15 years old? Mm, among those lines, yeah, I don't know exactly, but he's very young. And uh, a relatively new name to the scene, and I do know that when he was picked up by Team Root, a lot of people were like, what, who, why? And uh, since then, he's shown some fantastic games in the North American Star Lake. He's been a consistent performer for Root in the in the clan leagues. Yep, definitely. Certainly in the, in the team leagues, he's been performing really, really well. Everybody remembers that 2-0 victory over Torzane. Uh, that was quite the scene shocker. Taking a look at the openings, man, we see everything is quite standard so far. Red is getting pretty damn quick gas, though. It's quicker than he normally gets it. Two queens on the way, of course, he went hatch first. Well, we see a refinery opening over here for Masa, who did open up with the command center first, and then look at that Roach War. Whoa, yes. Uh, when you get that early gas, you have a couple of options, and the one that is most common is, in fact, this Roach play. Uh, we're probably going to see Rhett making... Oh, he cancels. Oh. You see? Saw the SCV scout coming and decided that he did not want to commit to anything. Now, Masa did see the, the cancel yeah. thing there. All that blood. Where did all that blood came from? And he's thinking, all right, Rhett, well, you oh, were going to do something. Then you changed your mind. But then Rhett, of course, yeah. immediately just plants the Roach Warren again. Unless, Ben, it was that time of the month for the Queen. Wow. <laughs> wow. But fortunately, that was not the case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Masa right now getting that fast third command center. Now, this is a little bit dangerous for Masa. He's just now starting a bunker. Now, uh, Rhett's Roach Warren not complete yet, so Masa will have plenty of time to complete this bunker. This triple orbital makes it really dicey, Ben, but also get basically tells us, okay, if Rhett is going to make a lot of roaches, and he does not straight up win the game. He does pick up a mule there, by the way. Nice pick up, but we have 10 roaches in production. That's a crazy amount of roaches. And normally, I really like the positioning of this bunker, Ben. I think in this case, it might actually be quite exposed against roaches. And I think in this case, it would be better off on the high ground. Masa, of course, has no way to know that here. One saving grace, he is getting a tech lab on that barracks. He will be able to produce marauders, and he's already making one. Uh, either sick game senses or just he has yeah. these marauders built into his build as a, a sort of precaution. I mean, he, as you said, Ben, he saw that something was cancelled over there, and it's very unlikely Red would have made a double spawning pool. So he could have figured out there might have been some roaches on the way for Red. He's going to spot it here. He's going to get the confirmation that there are roaches on the way. But as you said, Ben, that one marauder is here. He's definitely going to pull SCVs in time. I wouldn't build another bunker over here. This is very, uh, I mean, a ah, depot. This is very smart. Masa's going to go swap out the barracks and try to get a Banshee out. So He only has one Marauder, which is a little bit risky. Imagine if that Marauder falls, Ben. And there's only four SCVs on the low ground. They're going to dive very quickly to these ten Roaches now, Red. Uh, he still has to execute this perfectly. It's going to be a long time before the Banshee is out, so he does have an opportunity to do some serious damage. He's going to walk right up to the bunker, and he's not going to... Oh, he is going to focus down some SCVs. He'll kill all of these SCVs first. Uh, after they fall, that bunker, of course, will go down very, very quickly. He's lost 
Only a single Roach so far, so the Marine, the Marauder, absolutely going to fall. But how much damage can Rhett do up at the top of that ramp? 20 seconds, Ben, and the bench, he is how out. Does Rhett, he have you vision? don't want to oh, stay. Yeah. The Overlord's giving vision. He doesn't have to walk up the ramp. He can shoot from the low ground. That's awesome. It is, but still, that bench is pretty much out there, Ben. And yes, he killed quite a few SCVs. He didn't kill all that many. I actually think he lost quite a few drones in the process. Well, he lost 12 drones on the other side of the map, Ben. Oh dear, now he will break down this depot, he will get up into the main base. But the Banshee. But the Banshee is eventually going to clean everything up. Red's going to try to run wow, past, but that's Masa. not going to work either. Masa with a great defense, he's going to throw down another supply depot, completing the wall yet again. And Rhett is chased away. Rhett in so much trouble right now, Ben. Masa killed 12 drones with just those two Hellions, or maybe it was four Hellions. Uh, while Red on the other only killed nine uh, SCVs. He's playing against Triple Orbital. And of course, he has a horrible tech right now. Wow. Look at this ridiculous transition that Rhett's trying to pull off. He's gone up to two base Mutalisk, which can be really good against the, the build that Masa has done. Fast three Four command center into Banshee. Ben. Four. But um, given that he invested in all of those roaches early on, he's not going to have as much gas, and it's going to be quite hard for him to find openings. Now, Masa is unaware of the Spire tech. Maza making so many command centers, that's crazy. That kind of says as well that the moment he knows that Muralisk are on the way and that this Banshee band should be able to, well, it's going to be hard with these queens over here in position, so I guess he won't be able to spot it as the spider is pretty well hidden. Uh, but still, the moment he sees it, he can throw up so many missile turrets because he's going to have a ridiculous mineral income. Yeah, Rhett's not going to be able to make that many Mutus Kev. Spire is about uh, 15 seconds from completion. He'll maybe be able to make six, seven Mutus tops. Uh, the question is then going to become, what is he going to achieve with those Mutalisks? There's no tech lab on a factory, so we're not going to see any Thors. It's going to be just Marines defending, Kevin, and they do not have any add-ons. There are no turrets down. There is a very real possibility that Red will do some heavy damage with the Mutas. He is definitely going to deal some damage, but I don't think it's going to be all that much, Ben. Uh, even though we only have two Marines on the map right now, basically, and we're going to have a Viking soon as well, he can throw up so many turrets. He should be able to spot them real, real soon, as uh, we have quite a few Hellions right now driving over. How many units does uh, Red has on the ground? Ben, he only has 10 Zerglings and 3 Queens. Mutas are going to have to be used defensively, and that is the best case scenario for Masa, because now he can react with a ton of turrets. Red, if you're going to do anything with those Mutas, you have got to go right now. Uh, of course, uh, Banshee's once more in the main base. Oh, man, and Masa is doing a great job buying time for himself. Yeah, he's buying so much time. The Hellions are going to run into the natural, but good block over here by Red. Picks up most of these Hellions immediately. So this time he won't about end up losing too many drones. But yeah, there should be an answer for these Mutalisks by now. Turrets are finishing, and Red is on the clock. Can he stop this one turret? No, he cannot. And Masa will effectively deflect these initial mutas. That is great for Masa. Fantastic play. Masa is down nine workers, but he's on four orbital commands, guys. We're not exaggerating. He's on four orbitals. He's only mining from two bases for now. Uh, he tried to go up to three bases, but Red is here with quite a few links. So Red is doing a good job at slowing uh, Masa down at least a little bit. He'll be able to pressure this command center. I do not think he's going to be able to kill it, though. There's... Um I think enough Marines, and certainly when you consider the Viking. There are 10 Marines, but none of them has Timba. Uh-oh, but there are Lings here as well, and I don't think Masa has Siege Mode, so these Zerglings are going to complicate things in the natural pretty substantially. Marines are actually on a move command rather than attack move. Now they start shooting at stuff, and oh, Masa should be fine. They're not controlling this very oh. well, running the, uh, the Mutas over, ne over the head of those Marines and taking a lot of damage. Now, one thing Rhett has achieved is he's gotten a lot of map control out of this, and that mm -hmm. has let him drone up pretty freely. He's at 61 drones against 56 SCVs. Now, uh, Rhett's lost 20 workers, too. So, I mean, he would he would feasibly have been at 80 drones at this point in the game. He's, he's going to go up to 72 drones, and that's uh, reasonable enough. That's an amount of Rhett which can, uh, which Rhett can work with. He's also upgrading of double evolution chamber, so that's something for the long run. He does not have a baling nest, though, and that's something that obviously he's going to have to think of. We see a tour, by the way, Ben, in production pretty early on for Masa. <laughs> Perhaps uh, thinking that Rhett is going old school and he's going for that insane amount of Mutalisk. And look at the ta this tank. <laughs> this tank is really uh, confused, man. He's like, ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Thor will be popping out, and it You're will <laughs> serve as a deterrent from additional muta play. Rhett is uh, also upgrading his Zerglings. He's getting that Baneling Nest. There's no infestation pit on the, on the map yet, Kevin. Should it I guess he's Why doesn't he? Why can't he just go here? That makes no sense to me. Like because uh, I have no idea. Maybe the barracks is kind of walling it off from the massive Thor unit. 
Massa once more is going up to three bases. We do see the bailing that's morphing in right now, and the infestation pit is on the way. So eventually, Red might be able to have f an army to fight his army straight up. He's going up for a fourth and fifth base as well, really hoping that Massa is going to lean back for a, wi a little while. Of course, Red saw the amount of orbital commands that were there as well, and perhaps hoping that this slowed down Massa quite a bit, that Massa is thinking too much into a uh, mid-late game economy, and he's not going to be able to punish, punish Red for being greedy right now. Red's muta is going to show up in the main base of Massa once more. That Thor is out. He's got great range and he should be able to uh, to chase these mutas out of here. Got to pick up a medevac at least one. Oh, these mutas are quite in a strap right now though. Red losing so many mutalisk over here. That one is a in. really painful loss for Red. He's going to be chased all the way over here to the wow. back of this third base, but he will not be able to harass at that expansion. He had 11 mutas when he started that. Uh, only seven remain of and uh, two of them are yeah. at virtually zero hit points. During all this, he did go up to four bases, though. Red, out of nothing, Ben, went up to 87 drones. He's going up to Hive now as well. It's crazy how Red is just has a feeling that he can get away with this. So far, he is right. But, Ben, I think by the time the 2-2 two -two is about to finish up, Maza should have a seasonable army. He has 48 Marines. I'd say it's time to get us 48 Marines to work, Ben. Oh, yes, sir. It is going to be a little bit of a 2-2 two -two timing here. All the, that uh, Those bio-upgrades lining up with the plus one weapons on that siege tank. And Masa is on the move. Uh, a lot of Marines, like a couple of siege tanks, and a few medevacs in the mix. Uh, Rhett sees this coming, and he has got to get ready. Baneling speed just now starting, though, Kevin, so he's going to be lacking a yes. lot in the way of mobility. He has a lot of money, but he doesn't have all that much larva. He's morph morphing 31 Banelings right now. That might actually be enough to deal with this little push from Massa. And if Rhett survives one time, then I think he has what it takes to survive for a much longer time. Uh, we're going to see a couple of Marines in the main base as well for Massa. That's a nice move. Red, where are your Banelings? They're all over here, Ben. Wiggle, oh, wiggle. But they're so slow, Kevin. And Masa's already spreading out his units. This is going to be a very difficult defense for Red, but he's going to go for it right now. Here come the Mutas. They're going to try and target down the Siege Tanks and the Mech. Uh, Zerglings and Banelings coming in as well. This is initially looking okay for Red. But those tanks are still completely untouched. And now all these Banelings are over here on the high ground. This didn't go all that well for oh, Red, I think. Oh, and just enough Marines left over that Masa is able to continue this push. What? Oh, Banelings! Excellent execution by Masa, wow. and Red has his back against the wall right now. Seven Infestors in production, but how much damage will, Ma will Masa be able to do before they pop out? And look at the uh, look at the minimap, and it's like a river of Marines streaming down. It's a never-ending string of Red on the minimap. And Red is having such a hard time right now keeping his units together. They're spawning out of five, six hatcheries all around the map. These Marines will go to town on the natural, and I think uh, Red is in so much trouble. Uh, yeah, Zerglings will stream in and maybe be able to clean up the l remainder of these Marines, but Masa, as you said, is reinforcing constantly and with good positioning on those Marines. is actually going to kill all of Red's Zerglings, and Red left with no choice but to tap out GG. As Masa. Masa continues to play very well here in the North American Starlight, goes up 1-0 over Red. This is exciting for me. A North American Terran showing up, being relevant, showing mm -hmm. good games against Korean, and then taking the first map off of Red, widely considered to be one of the best Zergs in Europe. Uh, really, really nice play there from Masa. A solid play, Ben. He scouted the uh, Roach Warren early on. Even though he didn't see the Roach Warren, he could have seen that the building got cancelled. And I'm sure that a good player as Masa is. He got all his buildings there as well. And I also like the call, not going for a second Marauder, but instead going for the Banshee. Ultimately, it was the, was the right decision. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's a hard uh, one to make on that moment, because there are situations where, yes, your Banshee might be able to clean it all up, but by then you lost so many SVs, but that wasn't the case this time. So, well played by Masa. Just a really yeah. solid game. Everything from that decision to make the Banshee to the way he sim cityed his buildings, uh, keeping Red out of his base and taking minimal amounts of damage. He basically sacrificed four SCVs mm -hmm. to keep that bunker alive just long enough for the Banshee to get out. That was so well executed. Guys, that game was brought to you by LABite.com, a premium restaurant food delivery service serving the Los Angeles and Orange County area. If you would like to pick up a meal from any of the thousand or so restaurants Sticky. in the area, head over to LABite.com. Use the promotional code NASL and place an order today. We're going to have a short break. Lots more StarCraft co coming up, guys. Don't go anywhere. NASL, back after this.